Okay, let's talk about the spring water on the list, right? Now, like I said before, we gotta consider more things than being alkaline, which is only the pH of a substance. Um, spring water is dead. It's not live water. It's full of minerals. I mean, that's a good thing. And it's a bad thing. But those minerals are dead minerals. They are inorganic minerals. So the body can't use them. So what happens with these minerals is they cause water stagnation because they're adverse to the functions of the kidney, the kidneys, and the liver. They also leave behind kidney stones. These are why you have kidney stones from these dead minerals eventually being removed. This water takes, what, 13 days to remove. This was, this was proven by electronically tagged water molecules. So when you think you peeing out the water for the day, you actually peeing out old water that the body's been taking a long time to remove. So this is how you get a waterlogged body. So not all water is good for you. Um, right, here's the thing with the with the minerals, right? It's really a, a sales pitch. We've been dealing with salesmen for a lot of centuries, people with a lot of commercialized help. So they say the body needs minerals, 108 minerals, some people say 12 minerals, some people say a bunch of minerals. The body already contains many things that they say we need. It already contains protein, everything is protein, it contains fats, carbohydrates. Um, the nucleus has all the minerals that the seawater has. Our main source of minerals comes from breathing. Now we go to fruit, which mineral content is always overlooked. But fruits are always in their proper proportion when dealing with food. It's protein to its water quality, it's minerals to its fat qualities. So most fruits have like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 mineral content and that's the correct amount that is needed for the body. So when we get all these assets of minerals that we start to get when we start to looking for this water with all these minerals and these foods with all these minerals, this is how they get you. This is how they destroy your body. These are the things that harden the arteries. These are the things that cause osteoporosis. These are the things that destroy the livers and kidneys. These are the things that cause you to age quicker and you will feel it when you hit when you bend down on your knees and you and you get up and it hurts and it starts to feel painful those are your warning signs right there and that's for consuming too many minerals see living water which has a solar force in it charged by the sun is easily assimilated goes right into the bloodstream and it is a cleaning solvent for the cells because the cell has a serum or a plasma that they bathe in, that they swim in, that affects the cells. The inorganic liquids, such as in spring water, has all type of mineral deposits. It has, one is lime, right? So lime is good when you have children and they're building bones because half of the bones is calcium, the other half is lime. So the body will take the extra minerals to build bone material with. Uh, uh, another example of lime being present in the blood during to drink in spring water is when you get a bunion. When your toe is pressed over one way because of the shoes and then there feels a bunion, that is a lime deposit. That is due to drinking groundwaters. Now, if you want to test your water, a lot of, I've seen some spring spring waters like uh, Mountain Valley, they tell you how many total dissolved solids they got in it. So they'll, they'll tell you that it has 
those ground minerals in it. You can get your own water tester and test it and see. Some people, uh, they use the reverse osmosis system. They use the ionization to um, to remove these herb, these herb minerals, right? But still, you're still dealing with a dead source of water. Not only does these processes of cleaning destroy the molecular cluster structure of the water, it basically changes the very nature of the water. Also, what we got to consider when consuming these waters is the storage of it. If you look at the bottom of the bottle water, it will have a number inside of a triangle. If it has a seven, it's a pretty good form of plastic. If it has a one, it is worse. Therefore, these plastics leach. So the best thing to store water in is really is glass. So, you know, they, they got these waters sitting in warehouses. No telling how long, so they're leaching into the water. Now, I know we know of the black chemist, uh, I think the guy's name was Tyrone, who was exposing the chemical astrazine that were turning male frogs into female frogs. Kind of how um, we got a large population of homosexuals right now. Um, so we don't know what type of chemicals they're bottling our water with and how it harms our body. So that is also important. Now, the other importance is we consume waters from places that are not local, like the people in the country. They went straight to their wells, straight to their springs, and they got their own water from their own soil, their local soil. So we get water from where? Fiji. We get water maybe from uh, somewhere in Texas, somewhere where the soil might not be the same soil as the soil that you live on. What's the problem with that? Distant water does not possess the same electrical constants as the soil that you're on. So this causes cancer. If you consume water, that is different. Why? Because let's look at pure water. It's a good insulator. Pure water is hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, hydrogen itself is a misleading term because hydrogen is only 11% water. It really should be called pyrogen because it's mostly fire. The element I always talk about, the solar force. Oxygen is the other element. So water is 89% oxygen. Remember the atmosphere is only 20-25% 20, 20, oxygen. So where are you getting your other form of oxygen from? The water. That's where you're getting your 100% oxygen from. So, let me not get lost on y'all. The salt and mineral waters which come from the ground are, good, are, are conductors. So, they maintain the same constant as the salt they emerge with they emerge from. So water basically takes on the same property as the substance it comes in contact with. Remember when Bruce Lee was talking about be formless? Like water, you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. Water takes on every form that it comes in contact with. So radioactivity results from isolatory disequilibrium. The substances do not isolate in harmony with the cosmic waves. So when you get distant water, distant, distant water, it's not on the same isolatory frequency. So this causes disequilibrium in the cells. And when you have that, you have a form of cancer. What is cancer? Cells that are out of whack. Now, I just broke down everything for y'all with the water. Now, if you still choose to consume spring water because it's alkaline, by all means do so. You know, that's your personal choice. But as of now, we know.